Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we're talking about the brand new calibration tool, the three-point calibration tool. Previously, you've just been able to calibrate your Zwift device on one point of calibration. So say you wanted to run at 10 kilometers an hour and you've got a milestone foot pod, you would calibrate your milestone foot pod at 10 kilometers an hour and that was it. If you went any faster, the milestone foot pod wouldn't generally be able to keep up. And if you went any slower than 10 kilometers an hour, often it was too fast. So we now have three points of calibration. So let's go and calibrate the new Zwift run pod, not the milestone pod, but the Zwift run pod. Let's calibrate that and see how we get on in the new calibration tool. So we'll click on menu here and then we'll go to the pairing screen and you can see on the pairing screen I do have the Zwift run pod already connected via the new direct connection, the new Bluetooth direct connection to Zwift on a PC. If you're running Zwift on an iOS device then you've never worried about this but people running Zwift on PCs <laughs> we're so happy to now have this direct Bluetooth connection. Anyway back to the calibration tool. So we'll click on the little spanner and it says set your running speed at 10.1 kilometers an hour. You can see there are five points here. One, two, three, four, five. The last three are the actual calibration. So let's get going. Let's quickly calibrate this tool and see how we get on. So we click next and it says run at 10.1 kilometers an hour. So away we go. Let's set the my run treadmill to 10.1. Right, 10.1 is set and you can see it's 40 seconds now, not one minute. So the, the previous calibration tool you just ran for one minute, whereas now it's only 40 seconds. So 10 seconds to go. Remember, do not stop your treadmill after this because you will immediately be asked to move to the next calibration point, which is 8.6. So I've set the treadmill to 8.6 and we do another 40 seconds at this slower pace. So here we go again, do not stop your treadmill because you've got one more point to go. Up to 11.6. So another 40 seconds calibrating at 11.6. Okay, coming to the end. And there we are, success. So we'll stop the treadmill. We'll go and see how well the uh, Zwift run pod now manages with the three point calibration tool all done. So let's click OK. And here we are on the London course. So, OK, let's start. So all we're going to do now is speed up slowly and see how the Zwift run pod copes having been calibrated. Let's start with a gentle walk at six kilometers an hour. So the uh, Zwift run pod is measuring slow, 4.7 kilometers an hour. That's it's actually quite slow, isn't it? It's gradually creeping up a little bit and now we've had a stop. Right, we probably need to speed up. Let's go to 8.6, which was our slowest calibration point. 8.4, 8.5, 8.4. Let's go to 10.1, which was the medium calibration point, right in the middle. I have found sometimes it does take a while to get up there. So let's leave it a minute or two, nine, 10, there we are. It's slowly getting there, 10.1, 10.2, going a bit fast now. All right, we'll probably, be, we'll probably be happy with that, we'll live with that. Let's go up to 11.6. 11.7, that is not bad at all. So at the calibration points, it looks like we're not doing too badly. Let's drop back down again to 8.6 and see how that copes now. So this was our slowest calibration point. There we are, 8.5, 8.4, a little slow, not, oh, there we are. 
Okay, not bad. Right, let's go to nine. Slightly faster. Not quite getting there. There we are. So it does take a bit of time sometimes, doesn't it? So again, if you're doing interval training, and say it's only a 200 meter interval, you're gonna finish the interval before you've actually got to the right speed. Up to 10 again. Remember, we need to give it a bit of time. 9.7, 9.8, 9.9, let's hit 10. Come on, there we go. Now it might go to 10.4. <laughs> That's all right, look at that, 10. Good, okay, 11. There we are, 11. Fluctuates a bit, but you would expect that from a foot pod. Right, now, now let's go up to 12, which is beyond the fastest calibration point. Twelve is good. That's not bad at all. Let's try 13. So the My Run treadmill is set to 13 kilometers an hour. Let's see what the Zwift pod can do. It's not gonna get up there, is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. 12.7, 12.6, it's not gonna get up there. Let's try 14. Right, we're at 14 kilometers an hour now. Give it a little bit longer. But it's not getting there. 13.7, 15. So this is 15 kilometers an hour now. But the uh, Zwift Run Pod is only measuring 14.2 or three. Not even that. Or eight, let's go down to eight. My run treadmill is at eight kilometers now. And there we are, back on track. Just about eight kilometers an hour. There we are, and let's drop down to six now. Walking pace. So we're walking at six kilometers an hour and Zwift is saying 5.1. Okay, still slow again. Way slow. Let's speed it up to six and a half. 6.5 kilometers an hour. Right, it's not going anywhere, is it? Okay. Right, had enough of that. Basically got a decent idea of the situation. So what we're finding is, it's a bit different to the milestone because with the milestone, if you go slower than the calibrated pace, then the milestone seems to be too fast. Whereas the Zwift run pod is different. It is too slow at both ends of the scale. So if you go slower than the slowest calibrated speed, it's too slow, and if you go faster than the fastest calibrated speed, it's too slow. But within that calibrated speed points, so we've got three points of calibration, remember, um, within those points, it does very well indeed. So 8.6 all the way up to 11.6, you've calibrated between those points, that's fine, and you will get a pretty decent result out of your Zwift run pod between those two points. Anything beyond those points, and it's not going to function as well as you would like.
Zwift have said they would like to increase the number of calibration points to eight. Again, that would probably improve things immensely. But for now, three calibration points is better than one calibration point, And it means your Zwift run pod will function better than the milestone foot pod and better than when it's uncalibrated. That's it. That's a review of the new three point calibration tool on Zwift. Hope to see you again for another episode of How to Run on Zwift very soon. Take care. Bye bye. Right.